start before I start this video. I do not condone the use of drugs or any other addictive substances. <sighs> this is one of those situations where you don't really know where to start. You don't know where it started, you don't know where this part of your life begun. Um, before I tell you that story, I feel it's important that you should know a little background information. I was raised in Central Valley, California, regular middle class family that uh, lost a lot of faith and such in 2008 when the stock market crashed. Isn't that funny how that controlled a lot of people's lives? And yet, we're all still here. Most of us. Those of us that aren't here are here in the energy we feel every day. They're what has brought me here right now. I was always raised to say no to drugs. Don't take dope from kids. Like, I was taught right from wrong. Very well from my parents. <clears throat> my mother had maybe smoked weed one time, both my parents maybe smoked weed one, two, handful times in their life, and never really did it again. And I uh, discovered that when I was about 15, and then I was raised Mormon, so I was very religious, and I, I stayed away from it for most of my life. But once I got out of high school, I knew that I wanted to smoke weed, however, the job I had um, they did random drug tests and so I wasn't able to uh, to do that um, eventually I was just kind of like fuck it I'm gonna do it anyway and then I found out that the law was about to change January 1st of 2020 stating that they in Nevada that they could not uh, they could not fire me for testing positive for marijuana. That's awesome. After smoking weed for a little bit, I got back on nicotine because I had had very slight, you know, just kind of liked to get the rush off of it or whatever. Um, but there I was, smoking weed, started doing nicotine, and I think, I know for a fact, that nicotine is the gateway drug, 100%, because I still smoke weed to this day, and I'm four months sober. I feel good. So I started, uh, wanting to experiment with other drugs and I ended up getting severely addicted to cocaine uh, severely addicted for about a year I was doing Molly maybe once a week more towards the end which is uh, what brought me to my breaking point and that was the night that I almost lost my life And that's something I think about every single day. I think about the fact that I was given another chance at life. And I looked at myself in the mirror that night. And I remember being so fucked up, I could barely see myself. It was just a blurry image. But I got really close to the mirror and I said, You're done. No more. And I've been sober since. And I'm nicotine free. And I, I need, I want to spread this message to all of humanity that marijuana is medicine for those that need it. For those that don't, 
respect that some people do. <laughs> and here's the why. Here's the reason I don't believe in pills or anything like that is because I've watched my mother, who gave me this life, struggle for years, and be depressed and in severe depression, anxiety, constant energy loss because she's been prescribed all these pills for her that for that they didn't teach her that she could fix herself that everything she needed was inside but I know she'll learn I know it'll take her own time and I have to respect that and as hard as it is to watch her go through that every single day, I still love her more than anything, and I love my life more than anything. And that time that I spend with her now, after I've spent so much time avoiding her, trying to get away from her, I cherish it more than anything. Because I know it can disappear like that. also want one more message to go out to the world that you are not alone here when you take your mind away from the food and the substances and the liquids that consume your life and destroy you and take over your brain that I know you feel right now Once you get away from all that, you can feel the good energy around you. You can connect with it and you can spread it to other people. And you'll see that there are just as many people in this world just like you. That's the beauty of this world. Is yeah, sure, we all have our individualism, but we can all learn from each other. We can learn so much. We can learn so much. We can get so much smarter. We've spent so many years being stupid, hurting ourselves, destroying our bodies. And we're like, I don't know. You get to a point when you snap, you don't get it anymore. You just get to that point. But you can fall back into that. That's what's important to know is that you can fall back into that and you need to recognize when you're there and pull yourself out immediately because you know how it can take over your thoughts and continuously build and not build. It breaks, it breaks you and beats you and buries you. <sighs> that night that I, that that happened, I, I experienced a feeling that was more fearful than I had ever felt in my life. Like, like the hands of Satan were around my neck, saying, I've got you, I'm gonna take you. And my friends were there for me and took care of me. And I can't think of them enough for that. And I will also, my last message is that I want to apologize for anyone that I've led down the wrong path. Anyone that I have tempted into doing something harmful to themselves. I apologize. And I hope that you see my apology as sincere and accept it. And I love you all so much. Don't, don't stop. Don't give up. Don't stop trying. Get up every day. And just do it, bro. It's been right there in front of you the whole time. Just do it.